Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching my live show Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you are new and want to grow fast in the software industry, then subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates. Uh, what will you be your biggest tip for college students, for computer science students? See, my biggest uh, tip, Devam, will be for, for college students, for computer science engineering students is that during your college, you try different things, okay? And see what do you like? For example, uh, do front-end development, do back-end development, maybe learn Java programming, also find out what is .NET programming, okay? Try different, different, different things because in the college, it is fine, okay? In the final year, once you are in the final year, then you put your eyes on one technology and one thing that you want to master. And during the final years, prepare for that technology and particular that programming language, which you can master usually for freshers okay when freshers are hired by companies companies will ask about fundamentals of programming so your fundamentals of programming should be very good they will ask about data structures and algorithm if you know data structures and algorithm really well then you can crack any interview and they will ask about object oriented concepts in programming these three things are very important for anybody who is a fresher in the software industry, okay? Whether you do rest of the things or not, these things, you do it 100%. And the important tip that I want to give you is whatever project you do, whether you do an internship, whether you do your own project within the college, you do the project on your own, right from requirement analysis to design to development to implementation, everything you do a project on your own okay know each and every component of the project even if there are three to four people who are doing the project together make sure you know each and every component of your project when you are completing your project as a computer science engineer that thing plus the basic foundation data structures algorithm plus the object oriented concepts this will help you get your first job much easily. Okay, a lot of students don't focus on this and that's why they face a challenge in getting their first job. Okay, and it's just about getting your first job. After that, you can really uh, see how you can grow from there onwards. Okay, so I hope uh, Devam Vyas, you focus on these things and make sure that you do your own project. Don't copy any project. Don't just uh, copy things. Come up with the project. Be creative. Create your own idea. Think about your own user interface design. Have a discussion. If you have a client, have a discussion with the client for the project so that you come up with your own unique original project, which you have done. Even if the project does not work, it is fine but you should have done that project. You should know what you are trying to achieve and that is very important. I'll tell you an incident that in the final year of my engineering, uh, me and my, uh, my friend, we did a project with Adani Power. Adani Power is in Pune and Adani Power uh, company was in Pune in 1995. So we did a project with Adani Power and in Adani Power, there was a, a manager or somebody, okay, he gave us a totally new kind of a concept. There was some new device which had come in the market called MOSFET. Okay, so we had to create a high power uh, device where the current is very high. Okay, uh, even at low voltages, the current is very high. That kind of a device and MOSFET would help us to do it. And we did this project, but we made a mistake in the project. There was a mistake in the design of the project because of which right in the first time when we switched on the project the mosfet just burned out and the mosfet was very costly it was 15000 rupees in those times 
so the company only had one or two mosfets and they had given us one to test and that was gone okay so the the manager then didn't uh, allow us to use another mosfet okay so before our practicals before our final practicals our project actually had failed it did not work so in the practical the uh, the examiner asked us to explain the project and we explained the project to him and we told him that our project has failed because of this problem that happened okay and he was very happy that we explained to him what was the problem that happened why it happened and everything so because we had done our own project we were able to explain everything out of 150 in practicals in in that particular project we got both of us me and my partner we got somewhere around 145 to 147 marks out of 150 okay so you can understand that uh, failure is not about the project going wrong okay a lot of students what they do is they will go and copy somebody else's project don't do that okay do your own project even if that project fails because that effort itself will show your attitude and which is very important for companies okay so uh, devam i hope i did not just give you one tip i gave you three four different tips but i think this is important for all computer science students who are uh, pursuing uh, the the career in software industry okay i hope this works for you I really hope that this session, it helps everybody who joins this session. So the most important part to do is subscribe to my channel. Also check the description of this video for my course on how to become A players. Thank you very much and see you on the next live.